Hi, Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography and Camera Bits Ambassador. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how to use the uploader service in Photo Mechanic so that you can quickly upload your images to an FTP server, Twitter, Dropbox, Photo Shelter, Smug Mug, or any of the other services that Photo Mechanic supports. The idea is you want to be as quick as you can, particularly if you're working under a deadline. So let's dive into Photo Mechanic and take a look at how to upload images from Photo Mechanic. So what I'm going to do here is I've opened up a contact sheet and I'm going to pare it down to say these, uh, these six images. So I'm out shooting for Golf Canada and I want to upload this picture directly from Photo Mechanic. I'm going to look here at the metadata and see that it's all correct. I've already done all my uh, metadata and code replacements. So I've got a couple of choices. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go upload and then you see here that there are a number of services that I can send uh, to via Photo Mechanic. So in this case we're going to look at the Dropbox example. We see that I've already connected my Dropbox account. If I haven't done that yet you go connections and add account and it will send you the verification code that you put in here to establish the connection to your Dropbox account. Photo Mechanic is going to try and put the images here into this folder. I'm going to create um, another one called, or a subfolder called Golf Exports for this video as an example. I'm going to send the JPEGs. I can specify the quality, limit the file size if I want. I definitely want to uh, apply the cropping. I can add a watermark here, for example, so I can say yes. And in this example, I've sent use the, the text, put in my copyright information, and then be nice, don't steal. We can make that in the center, put it in the center here. We can move it around if you want. I prefer right in the center. We could also have a logo put on the, uh, the image. I'm not going to for the sake of this example. And then what I'm going to do is um, I don't need to apply the metadata template because you saw metadata was already applied and I don't need to rename because I correctly named the file on ingest. So now I'm going to send and then we're going to take a look over here in Finder and you're going to see the folder pop up and then you see the image and there you go and there's that copyright information that I put right in the middle. So that is one example. So what I want to do now is I want to show another example with uh, this young uh, uh, golfer here. So I come along here, hit the I, I don't know his name, but I'm going to say a golfer at the 2021 uh, event. And I can go save and upload, and it's done. So now you're going to see that that image popped up here, and it too is going to have the, uh, the copyright information. So what I want to do now is I want to upload the rest of them. So I'm going to uh, uh, save and get rid of this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to say command control U, which is the shortcut. And I'm going to turn off the watermark. You see that I've got overwrite the existing files. I hit send. And now you're going to see all six of these images pop up here. Four, five, and six. And I would have shared this folder with Golf Canada in advance. Um, so now I come here and you see that image of uh, the winner, Max, uh, teeing off near the end of the, uh, the final day. So this is now being shared with, uh, with Golf Canada. And it's pretty simple. Um, now we're going to move on to a couple of other examples. So now let's take a look at another example. I want to send these pictures to Golf Canada, but this time I want to send it to their photo shelter account. So I've already been... Um, connected here. You see that the organization is Golf Canada and then um, I've got my permissions here. I'm going to select unlisted on the website. Go to 2021. Where is it? There we go. Amateur Championships. Uh, Men's Amateur Championship. You see that they've already created that for me. I go here. Make sure that I've got all my settings. Apply the cropping. No watermark. Um, I've already done all the template, uh, metadata template, and the file renaming. So all I would do here is hit send, and these images would go to Golf Canada's Photo Shelter site. So now let's take a look at how to upload directly from uh, Photo Mechanic into my SmugMug website. So I'm going to come here, 
controller command U or file upload and I'm going to specify my smug mug website here so again pick the uh, the file uploader and you see that the destination path is currently set to blog so what I want to do now is go to uh, galleries golf and uh, here's the men's amateur championship you can see that this is actually live from my uh, smug mug website so if I wanted to create a new gallery or a new folder I could do that here this is pulling the existing uh, structure that I've got on the website so again same thing I'm gonna save the um, JPEGs high quality apply cropping no watermarks I would let uh, my smug mug website look after the watermarks if I wanted to in this example already applied the uh, metadata and named the files as we saw earlier and now I would just hit send and these go up to uh, the website now I'm not going to do that just for the sake of example I'm going to close this but now let me show you remember that it was um, uh, going to the blog this remembers the last place uh, that I had sent it to so what I'm gonna do now is I could come in here and have different pictures and say let's take this one control control or command U and I could hit send and it would go to this folder or again I can come here and hit save and upload it goes here all my information I hit send and now uh, let's say I want to go and take this picture and s save and upload that too and off it goes so those two would have just now been added to my smug mug website pretty simple and very very fast and efficient so if I want to now FTP the images to a client I could come in here and I can either say upload as I've done before and then select FTP enter in the connections and all of that information and hit send or what I can do you see that FTP is actually command U so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say command U and it takes me directly to the FTP so now let's take a look at how you would tweet directly from photo mechanics so here in my contact sheet I'm going to click on this one see that I've got the metadata that I've, I want correctly I'm going to hit save and upload you see that my connection has already been established with Twitter I did that once but here's where you would go and add it if you haven't authenticated once yet go in here and it's going to use the caption variable and then tweeted by photo mechanic and hit send and off it goes one more thing to remember when you've got your settings set up for your uploader make sure you save it so I'm gonna call this one Golf Canada so I've saved I've now saved that so you see I can recall that later on um, why would I do this because let's say uh, I come to Dropbox and I want to now put it into a file or put it into a subfolder and I'm gonna call it uh, date and the event use the date and the event variable or I could just do one where I'm doing the event variable so I've saved a few of these different uh, settings so makes it easier once you've get it, got it set up how you want it make sure you save it so that's how you use the uploader feature in photo mechanic if you haven't already hit that subscribe button perhaps hit that like and leave a comment I always welcome suggestions and requests for future videos you'd like me to record thanks for watching have a great day